is definitely the premier competition that the country hosts. Um, we would like to invite all of you for um, you know July 31st to August 3rd, wherein we have um, international, the most esteemed judges in the region coming to town. We are always very excited for that time because um, you know a competition is only so good as the judges, and these judges who come to the Philippines to grace the Philippine Culinary Cup. We've met, we met them actually through our own competitions. All of us have competed at one time or another, and many of these judges used to judge us, in fact. So it's kind of really nice to um, work with them to promote and further the culinary, competitive culinary industry in the country. And now we're judging alongside them. And we believe very strongly in the project because, um, you know, in each of our ways or capacities, we're all educators. And we've had our time, you know, we've, we've been in the industry on an average 20 years. So it's, you reach a time in your, in your life, in your career that you want to give back. So this is our way. We've, pastry has been very good to us. Culinary has been very good to a lot of our friends. And we feel that because we, we, you know, we're all moving towards the future that we would like to give the young people the same opportunities that we've had and even more. So GoFex is exactly that venue. It hosts the Philippine Culinary Cup and now GoFex University. So GoFex University will be having many speakers and resource persons besides us. Uh, we will be the front act for Rick Moonen. And so Jackie will talk more about what our part will be for sustainability and you know he likes to use uh, seafood and he likes to use local ingredients so we want to show that pastry in the Philippines despite us some of us being schooled abroad beside us doing uh, very French or American type of cakes we do love and use our local ingredients so for our demo uh, we would be doing uh, these things secret Style. I mean, diba? I mean, that's very interesting, not just for, ano, for the students, also the judges, the foreign, that, you know, they know we can localize what we learn from abroad. Hindi yung puro palabas. Our this group for hosting this because I think first time namin to po hindi to si First time namin together in, yeah. in one concert. I've worked with Joel in the group last year in Cebu and CDO. I think that even the previous year. And it's a very interesting uh, exhibit or expo that you call it. And it's uh, very complete in itself. So this year, expect something grander, bigger, or much, much uh, more because we have, uh, I think, foreign exhibitors as well. And of course, with the competitions, we have, as Chef Pichi would say, we have foreign judges coming in. So, na level up talaga to. I think amongst the local competitions, this is the only competition that has a lot of foreign judges, if I may say. So, ibang standard, ibang level. By the way, may massage. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Um, 
foreign judges expect this because we were standing the whole day. So there's a massage, uh, how do you call it, <laughs> station or whatever that took massage. So everybody, but it's an add-on for the chef and they're all excited. And the first thing they'll ask is, do we have massage over there? You know, something. And it's something to look forward to. It's fun and come join us on the day. Thank you. the World Association of Chef Societies, which is the Society of Chefs who tour the region. Um, James and Buddy and, and Ben are, are um, certified judges. So the judges who are coming from abroad to the Philippines are part of that. So you can imagine that these are pro judges. So no one is a no none, no one is a better authority in competition and and they have all said because they remain friends they've all have said that the philippines is has got to be the most hospitable of expositions that they've ever been james always has a problem because he sends out invitations walang cancellation so means i'm over budget sila kasi lahat ng judges hindi pa umalis ng pilipinas nagko-contrata na for next year and so many of them have have wow. developed very strong friendships with us and um so it's, it's always a good time, even for them. You know, the, the display, the, yeah. the... Anyway, back to... Uh, going back on track. Um, even the way the competition area is laid out, if you are, you know, if you've been to competition, you really appreciate the, the effort that the team, the PEP team has, you know, has been, you know, ex um, all the effort that they put into this project because none is as thrilling and has more, you know, um, has no, nothing is more dynamic than the Philippine scene. That's what they always say. Kasi tuwang tuwang sila, lalo na pag nag-cheer for each school or ano, may mga flags, you know. They're in the city, there's no, nothing compares to Filip Filipino energy. So we highly, you know, recommend that you come every day, every day in fact. Okay, every day is exciting. It gets more and more exciting. Thanks again. Thanks for coming. Yes, we have to tell them when our demo is. August 1. Our demo is on the Thursday, August 1st, 11 to Tawa. Okay. Um, we each though have, you know, um, Jackie and I have a demo too for, is it okay? For, for Bordeaux on a Friday at World Trade Center. So it's a big exposition. They cover SMX and World Trade Center. So we have a demo on the Friday afternoon. Me, I have a demo on the 3rd, which is the last day. So for a Kenwood, the money. 